So in this video, we're going to look at how to add social media links and a link to your website to your YouTube channel. So right now we're looking at my YouTube channel and we are looking at it by, you'll be able to log into your YouTube channel, youtube.com. You can log in with your Gmail account and you'll see then on the side, once you've logged in, the link that says my channel. So you'll want to go there and that's how I got here. Um, and then you'll notice over here, I have these links. So I have a link to my website on the channel and I have the social media links to each of my profiles. And so how do you add those, right? So that's what we're going to cover here. It's a real quick little easy thing, but it may be something you might not realize. So when you're logged into YouTube, if you scroll over your channel art, right, which that's what this background image is, if you click on the pencil, there's going to be two options. One is to edit the channel art, which is this background image. And the second one is to edit links. So if you click on edit links, that's going to take you to a page where you can edit what shows up on the description next to the video, um, or what shows up, I'm sorry, on the about description on your channel. And then you can see here, these are the custom links that I've added. Now you can add up to five. I have four. And you add the links you want to have, like, so I have my website link, I have Facebook, I have Twitter, and then I have my Google Plus account linked with it, right? And we say we want it to be overlaid. And this is added in order in the order that you type it in here. So I wanted my website to be first, so it's the first one here, and then Facebook, Twitter, and then Google Plus will follow after it. And then you just paste in the links that you want it to, to go to. So Facebook would be your Facebook page. This happens to be my Tech Diva Media Facebook page. This happens to be my Tech Diva Media Twitter account, right? And then you just hit done. And that's literally it. Um, if you go back to your home, you'll then see up here your different links. Um, the link you have first is the one that'll be largest and it'll have whatever label you put in there. Um, as a second note, this is the other way to optimize your channel. You wanna make sure you select a video and probably make a specific video just for your channel homepage. And so it can be a real quick video, probably a minute or less, ideally, right? Um, and you can select that video to be your trailer. So if you scroll over your area in the back here and you find the pencil, you can then change your trailer, remove the trailer, um, you know, or add a new one if you don't have one. And what you do when you select change trailer or remove trailer, you then select one of the videos from your channel. And as soon as you choose it, like I uploaded a video, especially for this, which is 34 seconds long, which is kind of optimal. And I would just select that and hit save. And that's going to make the trailer here. Um, and then you can type in what you want to have next to the trailer. And I have this optimized so that it has my URL to my website and then a little graphic and then a call to action. Um, so, you know, short and simple, but that really optimizes this channel so that when people land here, you're giving them a friendly message, you're giving a call to action to direct them to your website, and they also have the links to your social media above.